The most difficult part is to get guys to practice and focus in right now. It's um, It's been hard. It's been hard for the coaches. It's been hard for the players. And yet, uh, I thought today, like Cassius was better today. Yesterday was a tough day for him. And um, we're just going to keep on trucking. Have you kind of seen him use the basketball court to kind of get away from things? Has you know, been harder than that? I think so. Uh, you know, I think the first night it did. Uh, yesterday, the court didn't make much difference. It just, uh, you know, everybody's going to go through some different things as they deal with this. And uh, I, I will say this, he's been more communicative, uh, you know, and it's made it easier because I can talk to him about things. He came in today and we sat down for a half hour and just talked. And um, you know, and that's what I got to do a lot right now is talk to my guys. You know, tonight I got a couple of meetings. It's going to be talk, 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 talk. And uh, trying to get everybody in the right frame of mind and and go from there. Is it just is it mostly basketball you guys? Is it James Hall right now? Is it just life? Anything going on? It's, oh, well, what's conversations like? Oh, I, you know, yeah. What are the conversations like? Well. They're about basketball, but they're about life. I mean, as you can only imagine, you know, uh, it's uh, it's just maybe learning how to appreciate, learning how to uh, how fragile things are, you know. And uh, but you can you can turn that into basketball too. Basketball is fragile too, you know. If you're not focused in, you're not going to play as well. You got to learn to focus in through some tough times. You got to learn to deal with distractions, no matter if they're positive or negative, and. Uh, so, yeah, there are a lot of things we talk about in that period of time, and we'll just keep talking. It's not easy, you know, but Coach does, does a great job of, this, of, you know, of getting us zeroed in, even though, I mean, our, our hearts are felt and broken throughout this, this time. And, you know, he just does a great job of, of rallying us together and getting us prepared as a team and, and putting, a, putting a stigma more on, you know, life is... is is way more important than basketball. He does a good job of that, and it almost makes it like a game within itself. You know, basketball is just a game, and we got to realize that life's more important. I noticed there were a couple times during that game that you were just kind of messing with Cash a little bit. Was that the kind of like you grabbed his headband and pulled it down a little bit? I mean, was that just to kind of get him back in the game and out of his own mind? I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, for I don't know, we don't know exactly how he feels. I mean, anybody can almost assume. It. But you know, I put, I put a finger on it. But you know, just I've always been there for Cash. Well, I tried to be always be there for Cash like that. And we always mess with him like that on and off the court. And it was just one of those times where I just felt like messing with him. So I mean, I'm glad I could I can I can be there for him. He allows me to be his friend and his brother. So it's a blessing to be a part of his life. How have you guys been able to put things aside and just and try to focus on basketball, or can you do that? I mean, it's always in the, uh, death is always in the back of our head, but just trying to really help Cash. Like, rather, just trying to rally around him and get him back going. Just let him know that the season is first really now, that this tragic thing has happened, and uh, just let him know we're there for him. This Seton Hall team is big. They got a talented team, I guess, going on the road for your first time this season. What, What is the focus here? Uh, just trying to get our rhythm back going. Uh, they're really big. Their front court is really big. They got a couple seven footers, and we got to have a good point guard, like Miles Powell. And uh, I just think us playing hard, crashing the glass, and just doing all the things that we need to do to win will turn out good. Uh, definitely trying to do your work early, trying to force them out, you know, and then uh, bigs, it's going to be a battle, you know. I think one thing we're going to rely on our wings to crash down and help us rebound, you know, because we're going to be in a fist fight all game, bigs, you know, me, Marky X, Malik, Julius. So I think it's going to be important for us to just kind of just force them out. And, uh, you know, we'll be able to get rebounds, but we're going to have to help uh, the wings like uh, Gabe and uh, Aaron, you know, longer athletic guys that can come in there and scoop, uh, scoop some rebounds in the battle. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to force things to, to, to put them in perspective on how good we got to be. You know, it's our, it's our, it's our next big game that we got in the non-conference season. It's on the road. It's versus a good team. And it's gaining experience for March. I mean, that's what it's all about. And we, let's, we, know, we just want to come out with a win. Thanks, sir.